So I am just about ready to put these panels up on my newly built solar rack. They are dirty. They're full of bird duke. And now that they've been laying on the ground for a while, they're full of dirt. So I'm gonna get these nice, sparkly, clean, get them back up on the rack and they should be good to go for pulling in all kinds of power. Good morning, y'all. So I have a busy day ahead of me. I have got to get all these panels cleaned and mounted. That's my goal. I want to get this done today because tomorrow's going to be a big day. I'm taking Yuvia into the city, into the big city, and uh, we're getting her spayed. I'm a little nervous about that. If she knew what was coming, she'd probably be a little nervous about that. But we think that's best for her health and we want to try and do what's best for her. Plus, we're not looking to have any little pups running around. <laughs> Two big dogs is uh, about all we can handle right now. And not only that, but the morning after her surgery, it is going to be cold. It's going to get down to freezing again. Uh, even though the dome doesn't get too cold right now, I do want to get some heat in there and Juvie and I are probably going to be spending the night in there. So she's not out here during the freezing weather especially after that surgery. So a lot to do. Come along, let's get it done. All right, so got myself a bucket here. I had to clean it out, but uh, that should do. We'll just put a little Dr. Bronner's in here. Get a little water from the totes. Okay, I'll need a good spot for kind of cleaning this. And I think this is nice, not too much vegetation, but I don't want to clean the panels on the ground. Uh, I think I want to bring in uh, just maybe some cinder blocks just to, uh, so when I'm washing them, they're not sitting on the ground, they're not getting muddy or anything like that. Then once they're washed, I can put the, the, put the hardware on and then just do it one at a time. All right, I gotta go find some cinder blocks. I'll be back. I need to get cinder blocks and uh, we got the cinder blocks. They're just lying all around. So <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta go hunting. Not too bad, I got one here by the motorhome. Oh, <laughs> uh, got a couple over here. Uh, yeah, one underneath the table saw for some reason. I'm just gonna place these around and I'll adjust it as necessary. All right, so I'm just gonna do this in order. Go uh, one through five, west to east. <laughs> Man, these things are dirty. Just with the uh, soap and water, I got a lot of streaks in here, so I'm kind of hoping I can get some of these streaks out. Want these as efficient as possible. That's looking really good. Really, really good. All right, I'll get the hardware on here and then we'll put it up. All right, so now that I got these panels cleaned off, I got these little lock nuts for the super strut. So I'm hoping that this makes it real easy to get everything attached. I got these bolts. I'm gonna attach these each to the four corners and I'm hoping I can just slide it on. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work quite yet, but I'll get it figured out soon, I hope. <laughs> I've never used this system before, so I'm gonna give this a shot. This will be my first attempt. All right, the first panel was kind of tricky getting on there. Hopefully it goes smoother as I go along. I got the first three panels up, tightened up, looking good. Now the big test will be putting on the subsequent panels and making sure hopefully all those measurements are right and looking good and it goes smoothly. Well, we'll see. I'm not known for getting everything super accurate. So whew, wish me luck. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna hook these panels up. I mean, might as well pull some energy from them, right? And then let's put that one back on. So that's looking good, but this water 
is looking really filthy. So I'm gonna dump that out, get some fresh water and start on the next set of panels. Meanwhile, Jess is still busting butt over here with the cob. You busting butt? I got you a little bucket of water. That's my leftover panel water. Okay. I warn you ahead of time and it does have bird duke in there. Time to shut off number two. I just took the time at the beginning to make sure everything was squared up and ready to go. And then when it came to the framing, that was super easy. And then, um, then that just made the panel, putting the panels up even easier. It's a beautiful windy day, I tell you. Just about to start the next set of panels. So I'm gonna prep. So I'm gonna freshen up my water. Hit it with a little splash of that Bronner's. Just a splash. All right, so second set of panels up. I'm gonna hook them up and uh, we'll start drawing power from uh, line number two. Alrighty, power up number two. If you look at some of those old, older videos, you could probably kind of see each of the stands. And I built three of them. Built it on the cheap side because there was only going to be it's only going to be temporary. You could see them kind of sag in the middle, but here, all in one rack instead of three racks, so you don't have those divisions in between and everything like that, which you know kind of left some of those wires exposed. Yeah, I was thinking about before. Do you remember when we had? cows coming onto our property because mm -hmm. I, I think our fence wasn't finished at that time and they like broke through some of the wires because it was like hanging in between the racks so that was an issue uh oh what'd you do she's coming after you what do you got in your pockets <laughs> hey, how do close? Three, all hooked up. Now, number four. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Woo! Well, I'm working on the fourth row right now. Uh, there's definitely no way I'm going to get the fifth one on. Before, before the day is over. Good morning, y'all. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get all those panels mounted yesterday. I got all of them but three. I just got way too late. Today, we're taking Yuvia to the vet. She's gonna get spayed. I don't know if she knows that already she seems a bit nervous but i think she's always like that when we come to the city kind of a big procedure so wish us luck hopefully this goes fairly smoothly she's a little nervous all right yubia is back with me in the tahoe she is pretty out of it we actually had to carry her out of the facility and like lift her up into the back so it's gonna need some rest and uh, 
some R and R for a little while. For ten days, she's got to really take it easy. So, and I got to bring her back in a couple of weeks. So, hopefully, she'll hopefully she'll be doing all right. Daddy's home. Daddy's back. So Yuvia and I are still in the back of the Tahoe. She is out of it and she doesn't look like she wants to get out of here at all. So we're going to have another really cold night tonight. And if she doesn't want to get out of there, I don't think I can pick her up and drag her out. She might, not, she might be in too much pain for that. So I might have to spend the night up with her in the Tahoe. So hopefully I can keep things nice and warm for her and just try and make it through the night. Oh, poor baby. Well, good frosty morning to you. <laughs> I still got work to do today. I still got to put those last three panels up. But this morning, it got down to uh, the low 30s. Yuvia still didn't feel well enough to come out of the Tahoe. So she's still in the back there. And I, I hung out with her in the Tahoe last night. And every now and then, I would just kind of run the heater, keep things warm in there, make sure she was warm, make sure she's comfortable. And, uh, you know, she's doing a lot better. She's a lot more alert this morning. Uh, seems a little bit more with it, but she is, you know, she's still, I think, kind of tired, kind of groggy. I don't think she's drinking much water. She is eating a little bit, though, so that's good. I got one of the panels cleaned, ready to go. Uh, I'm not messing around today, so Jess is going to help me with each of the panels. Once I get it up there, she'll just kind of hold it in place while I fasten everything down. Y'all, this is super exciting. So all the panels are mounted and it's looking so good. Oh my goodness. Now this is a solar rack to be proud of. This thing is mighty. Oh, it's so beautiful to see. It does my heart good taking a look at it. Oh, I'm so glad I got a chance to get back to this. Now it should be much more efficient even than it was before, you know, just uh, getting it at the true south instead of uh, magnetic south and uh, I kind of already had it at that 30 degree angle but it's back at that 30 degree angle and it's just set up for like being the most efficient no matter the time of day or year so I think that's better before I tried to make an adjustable rack so that I could kind of move it and tilt it but I'd rather not worry about it just set it up for the most efficient spot and just let it ride that's it y'all we're running on full power <laughs> very exciting just in time as the sun goes down uh we've been dealing with the dogs all day i've been kind of dealing with uvia and her post-surgery needs and uh crew's been kind of anxious probably because his routine's off so jess has been dealing with that and of course full batteries so, I mean, technically we didn't even need <laughs> that hooked up. I mean, everything was running fine just without it. We have more than enough solar for, for our needs. So we're ready to go. I think this turned out quite nicely. It really paid off to take that extra time and do all the measurements. Measure, <laughs> you're measuring like multiple times. And I think it looks beautiful now. Yuvia is doing well with her surgery. She is recovering, you know, so I think she's a little disoriented, probably in some pain. 
just kind of had her world shook up. But she is recovering nicely. She's getting kind of back into the swing of things. You really have to kind of keep her in the dome for a while to keep everything clean, keep her wound clean, and make sure she's not running around too much just yet. All right, y'all. Bask in the beauty of the new rack. Back to the house. All right. We'll catch you in the next video. Later. Bye.